Hello, good people. Van SJC coming at you one more time from TraderRetreat.com, one of the best trading sites on the net. Today, I'm coming to you with a box break and review of 2013 Tops Archives Baseball. Uh, I'd like to thank Trader Retreat for sending this to me. I'd like to thank Tops for sending it to us. Uh, just recently, I had the pleasure of doing a Tops Archives football break and review. Um, I screwed up the video on it, however, so you didn't get to see it. Um, but it was a fun product that I like doing it, and today I'm going to bust the baseball counterpart. For those of you who are not aware, the Tops Archive product is uh, an entire set designed on being old school. Look at the packs. I, you know, if they really wanted to make these old school, they have really hard uh, gum in there to eat. But anyway, they do not. What they do have is they have 24 packs. Eight cards per pack of fantastic baseball cards. And what you're going to get is you're going to get uh, the stars of yesteryear as well as the stars of today on old style Tops cards. Uh, so, to start this thing off, we've got a 245 card base set. The first 50 are in the 1972 design, the next 50 are 82, 50 after that are 85, then 90, and then the 200, uh, the higher numbers are all short printed um, and favorites. They are inserted one in every four packs and will come on various different designs. So right off the bat we've got card number 143 Jake or Ordorisi from the Tampa Bay Rays and this is in the card style of the 1985 card design and it is a rookie card you can see up in the corner. Very cool. Um, Chris Sale, uh, 190 Sally, uh, sale, uh, either way. 197 is the 1990 design. You can see the, the, the designs in the 90s. They, you know, they, they were kind of ugly. Um, but that is one of them. Uh, you can see here we've got Jared Parker, card number 12. This is the 1972 design. you got to love the fancy graphics. They're coming at you. Um, you've got, let's see, another 90s design. Got another 70 design, and this is this is the 1982 design, Desmond Jennings from the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, so you see, it's the 82 design. Very, very cool. Uh, in this pack, there is going to be one gold card, I do believe, in every pack. In this case, we've got the gold Bronson Arroyo. It is numbered to 199. Since I may use it in the contest, I'm covering up the actual number itself. It is just the regular card, and it is gold. Uh, let's see if I can do this. It just does not want to focus with all that. Um, and we got our first insert in the pack. This is, there are uh, 15 of these. This is the 1969 design, and there's going to be four in one stickers, sticker cards. So there are 15 of this. This is, uh, let's see, Bob Feller, Tom Seaver, Nolan Ryan, Justin Verlander. Uh, so it's a pretty quality little uh, insert set. We like that. Okay, I'm not going to take all day going through every single pack like that. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the cards were looking like as we go through them. Um, I will point out, you know, pull out any different cards that are of interest as we go through. Wow, an old all-star Dave Parker. This is one of the higher number cards. So you got to love that in the old uh, Pittsburgh Painter hat. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like I was wrong. There's not going to be a gold card in every pack because I do not have one in this pack. Um, but uh, so there we have it. Uh, some things to be on the lookout for. There are two autographs per uh, box. They are on card autos. Uh, the football cards were real nice looking cards. Uh, so I don't see any reason why these will not be as well. In fact, just pulled our first auto. And it's, uh, wow, you know, they got so many of these cards have the facsimile autograph on them. It's hard to see the actual autograph when it comes through. But in this case, what I've got is I've got an autograph of, wow, he played for the Padres and Mets in the 80s, uh, Kevin McReynolds. Check that out. It's a real nice signature. Uh, as you can see, it's an on-card signature. Uh, you can read it real well. And uh, it just stays right there on the card. So nice looking auto as they were in football. Um, this is the kind of uh, set where you're going to get some 
oddball auto. Some auto can be don't have. Uh, for instance, in football, I pulled a Clyde Simmons. It was only the second autograph he's ever had on a card. Um, so you're going to get some of those old guys. It's going to be really cool, I think. Uh, so I need to keep an eye out for all of these. We'll go through here. I did pull out another interesting card. They have decided to put in, the, they've taken a set uh, from the football, the 1965 Cowboys, and inserted them in here. This is Will Middlebrooks. Uh, so those are pretty cool. Uh, they've stolen one other set uh, to put in here from basketball. There are um, 20 uh, 1972 Topps basketball designed cards in here. So I will need to keep an eye out for those as well. Uh, there are printing plates in these boxes. There are relics in these boxes. And there is an insert that I hadn't even gotten to tell you about. So we will go ahead and cover that right now. They are Topps Triumvirate cards. Uh, they're Stadium Club, actually, Triumvirate cards. What they are is they are die-cut cards. In this case, it's Edgar Martinez. As you can see, it's die-cut. They are three cards. There'll be a middle card to go here, and then an end card, and it'll make one long card. Uh, so this is Edgar Martinez version. So we'll have to see if we, uh, what other die-cuts we get in this. Uh, we'll keep going. It'd be really cool if we could pull all of them that go together, but I don't expect that to happen. So base cards. What is this? Oh, nice. This is a card that uh pretty interesting. They have an insert set in here. It is called Gallery of Heroes. Um how many I can't find how many there are, however. That, you know, there's a lot of autographs. Gallery of Heroes. This is not autographed, but what it is is it's basically a die-cut stained glass Gallery of Heroes card. This one of Boston great Ted Williams. Let me move my hand out of the way. You see? Nice. Put your hand in it so it is, you know, it kind of blocks it in. That is a really, really cool looking card. Uh, I'm going to keep that for myself. That's pretty neat. Um, uh, so these Gallery of Heroes do come autographed. Um, I don't expect to pull any. They are pretty rare. Um, but there's only 15 of them uh, from what I what I can find. Let me just keep going. Oh, nice. Another uh, 1965 tall boy of Cardinal third baseman David Freeze. Very nice. Um, and this is just something that I, I think is really cool because I think it's neat to be able to pull. It's good old card number one in the 1972 design, and it is the babe. I mean, how, you know, who doesn't like to pull a Babe Ruth card out of a box? I know I do. Um, but that's part of the fun of the archives baseball. They do put some of the old-timers in here. Uh, and it's just a really fun set. It's a low price point. So you don't, you're not buying this to get the hits. I mean, the hits are going to be great. Uh, they've got some really, really good autos in here. They've got some dual autos. They've got some triple autos. They've got some cut signatures. Um, so they've got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, but it's not, why you, it's not why you buy it. I mean, that's just kind of a bonus if you do a uh, gold conversion of uh, Matt Kemp. Going on right there, the 72 design. But some of the, uh, you know, some of the things they got these cut signatures, they are... Um, Celebrities. They're, so you're looking at celebrity autographs, not necessarily uh, baseball players. They also have a heavy metal autograph set in here with guys like uh, Kip Winger, like uh, uh, Tommy Lee, Lita Ford, uh, and uh, pe people like that. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like we have our second um, uh, of our autos. As uh, guy who had a cup of coffee with the Chicago Cubs back in the early 80s, catcher. Jody Davis, and again, uh, you can see they kind of blurt, they kind of uh, faded out the bottom, and the signature fits right there on the card. Very nice looking card, and I'm sure uh, there's going to be some Cub fans out there that remember him uh, as they're wallowing in their misery of 105 or whatever years of not winning a World Series. Um, so we'll just go ahead and keep blowing through these and see what we come up with. Um, that really should be our two hits in the box. But that doesn't mean that there's not going to be um, some other inserts, like one I just pulled out. Um, this one right here, there's an all-star set in here. Uh, and this is a Mike Trout all-star card. Uh, these are set on the 1983 Topps uh, card. Uh, and there's 30 of them in this set. And in this case, I've got Mike Trout. I think I may have accidentally skipped over one um, somewhere else as I was going through. But that is another 
uh, insert set. Uh, that's one thing that's that's kind of tough when going through these these old timers because they mix in so many sets. You um, you miss some of the inserts because it's all, <laughs> every single card looks different. Um, but here is another four in one Warren Spawn, Sandy Koufax, Steve Carlton, Clayton Kershaw sticker card. Very nice. Uh, we like those a lot. I like the stickers. Um, I'll keep going. There are only these gold. There are no other parallels in this set. Um, you're going to be looking at printing plates, autos, and gold, so there's no uh, rainbows or anything like that going on in this set. But um, it's pretty cool. Let's just keep rolling through. Uh, nice Rhino Sandberg there in the old 1972 design. I love those graphics, man. Them, them letters are coming at you. All right. Brad Belmar Teixeira, Darling Marte. Tall Boy, Atlanta Brave, Otis Nixon. And there's a blast from the past and on the Tall Boy as well. Now you got to like this. Oh, man. A Jackie Robinson Dyer card. Right after that, Willie Stargell, Pirates card. Right after that, Yogi Berra, New York Yankees card. Uh, you know, what What else could you ask for? I don't know. How about uh, uh, John Lester Red Sox? No, I'm just joking. Uh, but those are the kind of players you're pulling out of here. I mean, it, it's kind of neat to be able to pull a Yogi Berra card or a Babe Ruth card. Now, if they were autographed, I'd scream and, you know, have a fit right here on video, which, you know, might be interesting for some people to see. Um, Derek Jeter All-Star card. Jeter. Uh, Dan Ugla, Hanley Ramirez, Coco Crisp, one of the best names in baseball. Go ahead and knock the rest of these out and hurry up about it because we got both hits. It kind of makes the rest of the pack a little not as exciting, but we've got Reggie Jackson, George Brett, Mariano Rivera, and here's a cool one. This is a 4 in 1 sticker. Dave Ruth, Reggie Jackson, Don Mattingly, Derek Jeter. There you go, Yankee Brates, all in one card, and they're all stickers. So if you like stickers, if you like to stick on things, um, they're in here. Um, so getting back to what this set's about, this set is about the fun of collecting. It's about a trip down memory lane, seeing the old cards that you used to collect as a kid. Um, and again, it's 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 at a price point that everybody can afford, uh, which I, I think is pretty important myself. Um, this is the kind of stuff that you can do uh, with your kids. Um, because it's it's cheap, uh, it's affordable. You can also, I mean, it's, it's a history lesson in here. I mean, not only are you going through the stars of today, Joe Maurer, Jordan Zimmerman, Barry, he's a star, uh, Prince Fielder, but then you got the stars of yesterday, Ozzie Smith showing up in a Cardinal uniform. Um, it's it's just, again, you got New Darvish on the 1970s. Again, coming at you, Rangers. Um, but it's it's just a neat set. I, I enjoy these sets. Um, my kids really aren't into collecting. It's kind of a bummer, so I kind of do this by myself. Um, not to mention, it, it, I wish I had the excuse to my wife, hey, but the kids want to collect. Uh, but if you have kids and they're into collecting, these are good sets to collect. You're not going to get anything huge, but you are going to get some cool stuff. Robinson Cano All-Star card. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's plenty of insert sets in here to try to complete, um, to go through and, and grab, you know, multiple boxes of this stuff. Um, Again, it is missing the bubble gum, which is kind of a bummer. You'd think you'd get that for uh, uh, one of these cards. You know, this old school design. Another tall boy, Ellis Burks, Boston Red Sox. So that's pretty cool. Rod Carew, Robinson Cano, David Price. We are down to our last five packs. Let's bust through these real quick. Uh, Jared Weaver, Adam Wainwright, Dave Winfield, Matt Kemp, Steven Strasburg, All-Star, Jacoby Ellsbury, Jerickson Profar, rookie card. We like that one, don't we? Evan Longoria. We're going to get some rookies. Profar is a good one to get. Barney, Mike, Miner, Adrian Ether. Oh. I have got a redemption for a vintage card from the Topps Vault, uh, Topps Archives. 
Did mom throw out your old cards? Well, get them back starting May 29th. Take this card to your local hobby shop and redeem it for a special foil wrap vintage card from the Tops of Vault. Enjoy ripping open the pack to see what vintage card you pulled. So, Tops Archive Redemption card. Very nice. Prince Fielder. Oh, it's my boy Shelby Miller rookie card. Aaron Hill. Jason Kipnis. All right, so there's, I didn't even think about the redemption cards, but apparently they've got the Tarps Archives redemption where you can uh, take them in and get you a card. Now I need to find a participating card shop near me and go see what vintage card I pulled. Adam Dunn, Miguel Montero, Carlos Santana, Felix Hernandez, Larry Boa, nice. Old school, Miguel Cabrera, Joe Morgan, old school, Paul Goldschmidt from the Diamondbacks. Down to two packs, going to knock these out and then call it a night. Alex Rios, Josh Willingham, Chris Medlin, Tallboy, Jonas Cepedas, Open A, Scott Diamond, Dwight Gooden, Matt Kane, Sergio Romo. And in the last pack, while I'm opening this last pack, I will remind you that there will be a written review with scans and details of all these cards up at TraderRetreat.com. That's TraderRetreat.com. So come check out the video, uh, or check out the uh, review. There's a Buster Posey. And real quick, another one, Stan the Man Ugeal on the old 90s uh, card. Rock Holt Joey Vato. That's pretty cool. Um, so again, TraderRetreat.com for the written review. Uh, and that will do it for this break of 2013 Topps Archives Baseball. I'm Van Ness JC, thanking Top Trader Retreat for sending me the box and thanking Tops for sending the box to Trader Retreat. Uh, until next time, have a good one.